y'all, it's Jessica from Sloppy Swatches. Today I am so proud to announce that I've partnered up with Sally Hansen for the month of February to continue promoting their self-love movement. So for those of you who aren't aware, I have recently taken, well I say recently, in October I took a full-time position at an elementary. So all day long, every day I'm working with four and five year olds. So it has been one of the most rewarding experiences I've ever had, but also some of the most emotionally draining. So I find that it's very important to make sure that I'm recharging my mental batteries every day so I can be at my very best, not only for them, but also for myself. So today I'm going to share with you some of my top three ways that I promote self love within my own life and also a really quick and easy DIY nail tutorial at the end because it is on my channel so I'm going to be sharing this uh, rose quartz inspired look so stay tuned to the end if you're interested in seeing that. So first off I want to briefly touch on some things that I do within my own life to promote self love and recharge my mental batteries. One of my favorite ways on off days or weekends I will just lay in bed and read all day. It's completely unproductive and like I should feel guilty about it, but I completely don't because it's that important for me to just rest and recharge, especially because I am such an introvert. Being extroverted all week long kind of drains me so much. So I take that moment to recharge my brain, let it really focus on whatever it would like to, and just be lazy and that's okay sometimes. One of my other favorite ways is to get outdoors. Like my family has really picked up and enjoyed hiking recently. I think it's really awesome to reconnect both with my family and being outdoors and just recharging that way. My third and probably favorite way to promote self-love within my own life is to make sure that I'm taking care of my nails. I've had so many people come and tell me that they find my swatch videos therapeutic and soothing and I found that to be true in my own life as well. So that's really why I I started blogging was because I found it soothing and you know it helps steady my mind and really just was completely therapeutic so I've continued that on I used to bite my nails so terribly all the way down to the quick, almost to the point where they were like painful. Because I stay so busy, I find that a salon visit doesn't really fit into my schedule or my budget, so I'm really happy that Sally Hansen offers such a wide array of products that I can get salon quality results at home. It's really important for me. So I am gonna go ahead and share with you that quick a DIY. Definitely let me know down in the comments down below what are your favorite ways to promote self-love within your own life. So here's a quick look at the DIY nail art look that I'll be showing you how to do today. I did this using only tools that I have available at home that most people will have. So I'm going to go ahead and walk you right through it. I think this is going to be a perfect look for spring and I really enjoyed how it looked both with a glossy finish and a matte. So let's go ahead and get right into it. So first up, I will be prepping my nails with this Hard As Nails Strengthening Serum. I do apply this to all of my nails daily now since it's winter and my nails are so brittle. I do think that this is a really great formula. It goes on like a gel and you rub it right into those nails every day to help strengthen them. For today's video, I'll also be featuring the Miracle Gel Top Coat and the brand new Miracle Gel Matte Top Coat for all of my looks. So this is the glossy finish here. You just apply it right right over any Miracle Gel polishes for a long lasting gel like finish. So here's a quick look at the brand new Miracle Gel matte top coat bottle. So I am super, super impressed with this matte top coat so far. It does dry down to a gorgeous kind of semi matte, not extreme, just very velvety and soft. And it does a great job at not smearing nail art. So for this nail art look today, I am going to start with a Sally Hansen's Miracle Gel in the shade Satellite Pink. So this is a soft baby pink with maybe a touch of rose going on in there. Very gorgeous cream and it makes a really great base for all kinds of a spring themed and beyond nail art. So I'm going to go ahead and show you what that looks like today for me on my natural nails. So here's a look at that first easy coat. This goes on super smooth and buttery and of course it does have that gorgeous wide curved brush that I love so much about the Sally Hansen Miracle Gel polishes. It makes getting really close to my cuticle and side wall super super easy. For this look on several accent nails. I did opt to go in and clean that up with acetone and a cleanup brush just to get a more cool look and to show off some of my half moons on my nails. So I did do that with just a cleanup brush. You could totally go in with a q-tip if you needed to to get that nice and clean. Next I'm going to add an excessive amount of Miracle Gel in the shade Satellite Pink because we're going to be doing some smushy art. So don't be afraid to get a little bit too much on the nail. You can always go back in and clean that 
that up. So along with this, I'm also using the Selda Hansen Miracle Gel in the shade Ozone You Didn't. I'm going to apply that directly to where I have some of that excess pink. And I'm going to make a little bit of smush to add some dimension and depth and detail. And I really like how these two creams play together. So honestly, you can manipulate that with just the brush and get a nice smushy look. But I'm going in today with a Ziploc bag. You could also use Saran Wrap or anything like that that you have that will add a little bit of crinkle. And just going in and kind of manipulating those creams to work a little bit better together and smooth out a little bit. I did end up putting a really good amount where I didn't have to go in and clean up too much. I'm just going to allow this to dry down. So I'm going to seal all that in and protect it with the Sally Hansen Miracle Gel Top Coat. This is going to smooth out any irregularities and make sure that the base is protected for the next look of the nail art. I am going to go in with a little bit of acetone so you do want a nice base to make sure that the colors don't smear or disappear on you. So next I'm going in with a brand new shade. This is Sally Hansen's Miracle Gel in the shade Out of This Pearl. And this is just a soft kind of champagne gold with a very strong shimmer. I'm going to go in and add some veining detail with this polish. So for that, I'm just going to add a drop here to my mirror, which I'm using as an artist tool and then a very fine detail brush. So this you may actually need to go out and find. You could always use any kind of brush that you have in your home and just trim down those bristles so it's nice and thin. So I'm going to drag this right on top of that really pretty pink and blue base just all in one direction to get some veining going on. The thinner you do your lines, I think the better this is going to turn out. I think honestly my brush here was a little bit thick, but it ended up really okay anyway. So next I'm gonna take some acetone and it does need to be a really strong acetone and a flat brush but again you could use a q-tip if needed and kind of feather out those lines just bleed them out a little bit that's why it's so important to lay down that miracle gel top coat base to protect your base colors as you go in with that acetone so i did this i think two or three times just to get a nice veining and add some more detail this is really going to pop with that matte top coat once you get that on there here it's just soft and subtle and really really pretty anytime i can add a shiver or sparkle to a nail art look I'm going to do it I just love it so much so I'm gonna go ahead complete that and then show you what it looks like when we go in for some top coat I ended up loving the Sally Hansen Miracle Gel polish in out of this pearl so much I did want to go ahead and add in some details especially on those nails where I had my half moon showing so using a dotting tool or a bobby pin I'm just going to add two little dots and that adds some really pretty gold effects so next I'm going to go right in with the Sally Hansen Miracle Gel matte top coat I am super, super impressed, you guys. A lot of times when I do dots like that towards my cuticle, they do tend to smear as I go in with top coat. Not the case at all, and especially in a matte top coat. Really, really impressed. So to add a little bit more detail to my finish, I did end up going in again with the Sally Hansen Miracle Gel Top Coat towards some of the edges of my nails in kind of a French mani, but in a V, just to kind of play with that matte and glossy finish. I really enjoyed it in this look. So here is a look at that final swatch photo underneath artificial lighting. So that's all I have for today. Be sure that you check out Sally Hansen on Instagram. They are giving two followers a complete year supply worth of Sally Hansen, so you will not want to miss out on this giveaway. I'll go ahead and link that down below. If you'd like, you can also follow me on Instagram at Swatches. So thanks so much for watching, guys. See you next time.